that we saw with LSU against SIUE, just collapsing and giving a little too much help, leaving those three-point shooters to be free. Watford's taken two bodies no matter where he's at. Still early parts of the first half here from St. Louis. Collins, nice drive, addition, a baseline to keep this team and kind of carry this team, especially if you're going to have us on French out. Collins sprints it down floor, a wide open teammate. It's Collins with two today. Dribbles behind his back, picks it up, kicks out. Perkins wants another back to back. Taking an actual shot or making a shooting motion, but halfway through the year with the ball above his head, I don't know what else there was. Billikens get it here on the inbound and back to work they go. Perkins one more time. Milani Wilkinson splits him at the free throw line and Yuri Collins and the Billikens have it again with a seven point lead. Inside, Jimmy Bell Jr. kicks out. He's got Perkins. One possession alone. So now it's Jacobs. Jacobs and Perkins go back and forth up top. Billikens have a six-point lead. A nice give and a dish. Perkins loses it. But right now, Slew's defense just a little discombobulated. Not what we saw from them in the first half. Perkins feeds it up top to Terrence Hargrove. Hargrove back out to Jimerson. Perkins one more. One in a three-point ball game. St. Louis, the preseason number two pick in the Atlantic 10. LSU picked third in the SEC behind Tennessee and Kentucky. Goodwin forces to Perkins, a seam up the baseline mid-range. That's the game plan. Mm -hmm. You're missing that rim protector. Take it to the rim time and time again. That's what LSU has done in the second half. Goodwin feeds free throw line to Perkins. 